so I wanted to go out into the woods behind the house and check the trees out and see if there's anything that will be suitable for firewood. I know that I can go and buy firewood, but wouldn't it be cool if I could get the firewood off my own property? So this is my view as I go out the back door and I haven't identified all of the trees back here yet, but there are a lot of um, hickory nut trees, and it's mostly hardwoods. There are some pines, but they're few and far between, but mostly it's hardwoods. So, I see some down trees I've been going to check out now and see if there's anything over here that I can use for firewood. I'm kind of not really into using a chainsaw, but if I could find a smaller one, I could probably use it. And my son could probably be convinced to come out and cut some of this up for firewood. It looks to me like it's going to make good firewood. So I'm going to pick up some smaller pieces and take in the house. I want to make sure the uh, wood stove works so that if my power's out during this cold spell, I'll be able to light it and use it for heat. So I believe here's a couple of pieces over here that I might could use. They look like they're fairly decent size. Maybe a little bit big, but we'll see. I was able to find two or three pieces that are about the right size and they fit on this rack that came with the place that I'll be able to uh, store my firewood and allow it to cure or season, which I understand you have to do. You can't just go and, and chop down a tree and cut it up and use it for firewood because green wood does not burn very well. It's uh, too full of water. As I understand it, a green tree is about 50% water, so it has to be cured. But now these trees that are already felled and they're just laying there, these pieces that I picked up appear to be seasoned properly already. I'm going to go in and I'm going to build a little small fire just with paper and maybe a few leaves just to check the wood stove out and be sure it does work. I don't see a flue anywhere that needs to be open so it looks like it it might be open and ready to use. Alright, so here it is. This is my Huntsman 241 wood stove and it looks like it's in pretty good shape and the size is about 15 inches wide I believe and it's about 34 inches high up here on this uh, top part. So I've got a little firewood over there and I have some little small pieces of twigs and small limbs that I'm going to use for kindling to start the fire. So the first thing I'm going to do is build a little small fire with paper only just to be sure the smoke goes out the chimney the way it's supposed to go and not into the house. According to my instruction manual, I am supposed to 
turned these bottom regulators, there are three regulators on the front, and I'm supposed to turn the bottom two for 10 turns, which I've done. It's supposed to leave about three quarters of an inch between the door and the um, back of the regulators. So I've done that. And it says to test it, to wad up some newspaper and put a little few little twigs on it, which I've done. So now I'm gonna get a, a match and see about lighting the fire for the first time. All right, so here's my match, and I'm going to set fire to the newspaper. Oh, this is exciting. I've never had a house with a wood heater before. Ooh. She's starting to burn. All right, so I'm going to close the door and go outside and make sure I've got some smoke going out the chimney. So here we go. Let's go outside. See if we can spot some smoke coming out. All right, so here we go. I don't know if it's enough for you to see in this video or not, but I've got smoke coming out my chimney. So now all I have to do is learn to build a proper fire, the correct way to lay the wood, and I have to get my son to come out with a chainsaw and cut some wood to put on my little rack out here to season. Now it looks as though the felled trees that I saw back there are already properly seasoned. It usually takes about six months, at least six months for pine wood, which is not ideal for fireplace because it's kind of messy. And even though it burns hot, it burns fast. And it, um, you'll go through a lot more wood if you're using pine wood. But with any hardwood, the fire will last you a lot longer. You'll burn less wood. So I got to check out and find what kind of trees they are. So I'll probably take some leaves down to my local ag center and see what they say. The only thing that I can identify readily are the hickory nuts. It takes hardwood from one to two years uh, to cure. So I think in my case, I need to harvest the already felled trees that are out there that are already seasoned and use those first and maybe cut down a pine tree uh, to start the seasoning process and they'll be ready in about six months and then take a hardwood tree down also which will be between one and two years before i'll be able to use that now the correct size to cut firewood is uh, six to eight inches in diameter and 16 inches long and it needs to season it needs to be seasoned outside you don't want to bring the wood into your home and then discover that it's got termites in it so that could be a problem but you need to season it outside because it seasons faster out in the sun and the wind so you need to put your uh, rack that you're going to season your wood on, stack it on for seasoning, into the place that gets the maximum amount of sunlight every day, and um, leave it uncovered unless it's going to rain or snow, and then you'd want to cover it up. 
In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my little fire, and I have to learn how to regulate or use these three little regulators on the front of the heater to adjust how the fire, whether how much warmth, how much heat you want inside. And thanks for stopping by.